welcome to the course on power quality today we like to will be discussing the numerical examples on power factor corrected uh, bug boost single phase converters starting with the first problem the design a single phase power factor corrected ac dc non isolated bug boost converter in continuous conduction mode operating at uh, 20 kilohertz with the following specification with input voltage of 220 rms frequency of 50 hertz single phase ac supply the dc output of uh, 180 volt and power output 900 watt with the output voltage triple less than 2% like so well this is the typical circuit that we have a mi filter then diode rectifier and followed by the bug boost converter i mean which is used for controlling the output voltage as well as to providing the sinusoidal and unity power factor current at the supply and after developing the after designing it developing the model i mean these are the typical waveform those uh, typically supply voltage and supply current you can see the supply current exactly in phase with the supply voltage and uh, it is close to sinusoidal current so that your harmonics also less as well as no reactive power voltage in there and you are able to get almost unity power factor and this is the inductor current which is continuous conduction mode as is already given in the problem and this is the of course the output voltage corresponding to well coming to the numerical solution part the output uh, voltage vdc of the bug boost convert is given in this relation vdc equal to d upon 1 minus dv in for this bug boost converter and the v in which is the typically the converter input voltage is calculated from average of the uh, supply rms voltage which is available after the diode rectifier in the circuit to so putting the value we get this as 198 volt and therefore the value of duty ratio can be estimated from the relation of given above so putting the value in this case we get the duty cycle 0.476 this this is less than 0.5 so it means the converter is operating in buck mode of operation and the input current of average input current which is of course at the output of diode rectifier i mean can be calculated from power divided by average voltage so it comes like from 900 divided by 198 so it comes 4.55 ampere like so considering the 30% current triple for the designing of the uh, inductor for continuous current conduction so that the value of the inductor current from the relation of the input i mean that is dv in that is the voltage applied for on period and uh, this is the 30% current triple i mean like and with the switching frequency of typically of 20 kilohertz so if the value that it comes 3.5 milli henry and the inductor is selected greater than this above value uh, which is 4 milli henry to ensure the continuous conduction mode of operation over a wide operating range of the supply voltage as well as of the load like so considering the condition of maximum ripple at the output voltage the design of capacitor deceiving capacitor output capacitor is here that cd equal to idc upon 2 omega delta vdc we already discussed it does not depend on switching frequency it depends on the load current it also depends ripple in the output voltage and of course on the sub second harmonic is there that's on supply so keeping the value or substituting the value of all the so it comes 2.21 uh, millifarad so maximum ripple voltage across cd considered as 2% so the value of dc link capacitor is selected i mean little higher than that standard value of 2.4 a millifarad and the diode based rectifier output is fed to a low pass filter tuned at 1 tenth of the switching frequency to suppress, suppress the higher order harmonics so therefore an lc filter is designed for this purpose for which the capacitor is calculated from this relation where theta is the angle between the your supply voltage and supply current which is taken here just not to have any reactive power burden only as a 1 degree and then putting the value of output power then the supply rms voltage then the typically uh, corresponding to the peak voltage of supply and the your supply frequency it comes typically order of 1.1 microfarad so where vm and im are the supply peak voltage and current and theta is the displacement angle between supply voltage and supply current so the capacitor here normally we select a little lower so it selected like 440 nanofarad while the designing the inductor for this lc high uh, you can call it the emi lc filter the source inductor is taken into consideration therefore an accurate filter design is essential for power factor correction converter and higher order harmonics induced in the input side by switching frequency of 
solid state switch is eliminated by using this LC filter. So, filter inductor design is given here from this relation from the RM's voltage divided by power that is equivalent to you can call it like a kind of uh, resistance and then this is the typically the frequency here for the corresponding and putting the value corresponding to for this inductor I mean we get this total inductance value by 5 point you can call it like after the source inductor it comes 5.83 and the cutoff frequency of the filter normally conserve 1 tenth of the switching frequency. So, filter inductor is calculated typically order of you can call it 6 milli Henry. So, that gives the EMI filter design along with the design of other component of this your bug boost converter with perfect correction in continuous conduction mode. Coming to the second example, the design a single phase perfect corrected AC DC non isolated bug boost converter in discontinuous uh, current mode of operation also knows through the control of voltage follower approach and operating at 20 kilohertz and with the following specification of input of 220 volt 50 hertz single phase supply and DC output of 240 volt and power rated is 500 watt with the output voltage ripple of less than 2 percent like. So, this is the typical circuit of this bug box converter. We have AMI filter, we have a direct rectifier after which we are putting this bug boost converter and this is we are designing in DCM. So, it means this inductor is designed in discontinuous mode and of course, with this we control this by voltage for our approach only the output voltage regulated by design since it is in DCM. So, it gives inherent power factor correction at the input supply. So, after designing the component and with those component and with power control a model is developed and from which you have a supply voltage and supply current. A supply current is in phase with the supply voltage and almost like a uh, close to sinusoidal. And you can see the this inductor current is a discontinuous current, discontinuous as this inductor is in discontinuous conduction mode. And this is the typically the load current and output voltage. You can see clearly here that is a quite good quality output also here. So, coming to the numerical part of the design <coughs> from the relation of output voltage of the bug, this bug boost converter. So, output voltage is in terms of average input voltage and the D upon 1 minus D that is the relation for bug boost converter where D is the duty cycle and this duty cycle if it is below 0.5 then it is the bug operation and above 0.5 it is a boost operation. So, for this we form the supply we after direct rectifier we can find out the average voltage in terms of the supply RMS voltage when we put the value it comes like 198 volt. So, therefore, the value of duty ratio can be calculated from this relation. So, putting the value we get the D duty cycle equal to 0 0.547 and this uh, you can say it is above the 0.5 it means there is a bug boost operation of this converter for the this given condition and we can find out the input average current that power output power divided by average input voltage after the direct rectifier. So, putting the value and it comes 2.53 ampere like. Uh, well, the designing of this inductor in DCM so for boundary condition the value of the inductor is designed uh, for this here I mean this is designed for on period during on period we expect the ripple will be corresponding to twice of the peak of input current. So, that is the reason you have start from 0 and go to twice the peak. So, that is the reason that you have a large ripple permitted in the sense of twice and then the switching frequency. So, this is the typical relation but just putting the value of your R in by this and then in this uh, expression high frequency is considered 20 kilohertz where I is in the input side resistance. So, putting the value for rated condition in this, so we get 1.07. This is the typical value for boundary condition. So, practically we should get less than that in many situations people keep even 110. So, you can even take a typically of around 100 microsecond to ensure the discontinuous mode of conduction even for lower voltage and typically the highest power like because at lowest voltage of input you will find this current will be corresponding to the maximum. So, there is a tendency of the converter to go into continuous conduction, but if it goes into conduct continuous conduction then you will not get inherent power factor correction. So, we have to make sure by taking a enough low inductance that in any extreme operating condition your this converter is not going into the continuous conduction. So, that your inherent power factor correction condition is certified like coming to selection of the de-sealing capacitor. So, considering the condition of maximum ripple at the minimum output voltage the design of de-sealing capacitor is made C d equal to I d upon 2 omega delta V d. So, putting the value it comes like typically all power value and twice of the 
you, you can call it the twice of supply frequency which is second harmonics on the DC link and 2 percent of the voltage ripple across the voltage of 240 volt. So, we select normally little higher value on this to make sure that this ripple always less than typically of 2 percent. So, it comes 1 millifarad. And coming to the typically design of EMI filter of the input, the so design of the filter for capacitor is calculated from the same relation which we have used earlier. So, here theta is the angle between your supply voltage or supply current and the value of V here the V m and I m are the uh, peak value of supply voltage and current. So, putting the value we are getting typically a 574.3 nanofarad. We select little lower value of this. So, the selected value here is 320 nanofarad. Now, coming to the design of EMI uh, filter inductor. So, while designing the inductor for this LC filter the source inductor is taken into consideration. So, header harmonics in the input side by switching frequency of switching device is eliminated by using the LC filter. Therefore, an accurate filter design is essential for power factor correction converter and the filter inductor is calculated from typically from this relation and here of course, this total inductor is the inductor which requires and then the source inductance of so, getting the value total putting the value we get 4.73 milli Henry. So, the cutoff here the cutoff switching frequency taken typically of one tenth of the switching frequency. So, that you are able to eliminate even all the your higher switching frequency harmonics like. And coming to the third example a design a single phase power factor corrected AC DC non isolated cut converter operating in continuous conduction mode at 20 kilohertz with the following specification with the supply voltage of 220 volt like at 50 hertz single phase AC supply and DC output voltage 300 volt and power is 1900 watt with output ripple of 2 percent. So, this is the typical circuit like we have a here you can call it diode rectifier then we have a MI filter and then we have a your typically a cuck converter which is operating in continuous conduction mode. Of course, we have to use here the control we call it the current multiplier approach that output voltage regulator then from this we get the phase form typically at the output of diode rectifier and then we sense this current and control this current shape the current by giving the signal to this MOSFET of this device like. So, after designing the components for giving a specification then the model is developed and after developing the model these are the waveform obtained for this system under rated conditions the supply voltage the supply current you can see supply current closer to sinusoidal and in phase with the supply voltage. So, that there is no reactive power as well as harmonics are there and you can see typically here I mean the input inductor current is also continuous as well as you can see the output voltage is regulated and for this supply current the TAD is obtained is uh, of order of 3.97 percent like or so. And now coming to numerical part of this uh, for this cut bug boost converter this is the typical relation for non isolated uh, bug boost converter. So, you have a typically output voltage in terms of the input voltage that is input voltage here is the average output of the diode rectifier which can be calculated from the supply RMS voltage from this relation. So, it comes 198 for 220 volt RMS voltage and therefore, the value of duty cycle can be calculated from the relation this relation putting the value. So, here duty cycle comes d equal to 0 point uh, 602 that really clearly I mean explain that the operation of the converter is in a boost mode because above 0.5 duty cycle this converter operates in I mean boost mode and average input current can be calculated from power and the input average voltage. So, putting the value of output that is 1900 uh, watt divided by 198 it comes 9.6 ampere. And now coming to the design of the input inductor I mean like because you have a three element input inductor output inductor as well as the you can call it the energy transfer capacitor and the output capacitor like. So, designing the input inductor for continuous conduction mode for a 40 percent current triple I mean this is typically relation corresponding to the on period I mean you are switching on the typically in, in across the input inductor you will find the voltage applied V in and this is the maximum current, current triple corresponding to that period and this is the switching frequency. So, we get this inductor putting the value we get 1.55 milli Henry normally we select to make the continuous conduction under all operating condition this is calculated corresponding to rated voltage, but certainly in practice we have the voltage increasing when there will be increase in the voltage then certainly the current will be less and ripple current may increase. So, to take care under wide operating range the inductor is selected little above than this calculated value and that selected value is 2 milli Henry here to ensure the continuous conduction mode of operation over a wide operating range. And now coming to the your inductor output inductor design for continuous conduction mode. 
with the 30 percent ripple current. I mean that output inductor is calculated normally during the 4 off period that is 1 minus d for continuous conduction. So, that is output voltage into the your doubt conduction period for which the energy transfer for and this is the ripple again in the output inductor and so check you can see. So, putting the value here also we get 3.14 milli Henry to make sure that it also operate in continuous conduction mode over a wide uh, you can call it operating range the inductor is selected as 3.5 milli Henry little higher than what we are really getting calculated to make to make uh, sure that the continuous conduction mode of operation is always there in the wide volt, voltage varying and load variation like. So, coming to the voltage across the energy transfer capacitor C 1 I mean this is the typically the relation corresponding to off period that is V C 1 V upon D. So, here this voltage across this from the, this duty cycle it comes 495 uh, volt and considering the 10 percent ripple in the design of the capacitor C 1. So, putting the value that it comes 3 point typically of uh, 9 uh, millifarad and uh, the value of this intermediate typically is selected a little higher than this that is 4 microfarad. And uh, considering the condition of maximum ripple at the minimum output voltage the design of the desailing capacitor is made C D equal to I D C upon to omega delta V D C. So, putting the value in this we get this value about 1.68 milli farad and to make sure even during dynamics also this voltage does not go over a wide range to, and to make sure that it is more than not 2 percent ripple the value of capacitor is selected a little higher than the external value of 2 milli farad. Now, coming to the typically of design of EMI filter EMI LC filter. So, the diode bridge rectifier output is fed to the low pass filter tuned at one tenth of the switching frequency to suppress the higher order harmony. Therefore, the design of this LC filter can be given here C max equal to I max I m upon V m into omega L into tan theta, where theta is typically like you can call it angle between supply voltage and current. Normally, it is considered not to have too much active power only 1 degree and this gives the value of typically capacitor of 2.2 microfarad and certainly we select normally this value to lower than this. So, selection here it is only 800 nanofarad. Now, coming to the design of this uh, inductor for EMI filter of LC filter the source inductor is taken into consideration. So, higher harmonics are introduced in the side by high switching frequency of the solid state switch. Uh, um, is eliminated by LC filter therefore, accurate design of the filter is essential for PFC converter. The filter design is I mean inductor is calculated from this relation and uh, where the this, this inductor is a sum of you can call it like a source inductance plus the required inductance. So, putting the value we are able to get required inductance here 3.86 Henry and the cut off frequency taken one tenth of your switching frequency. So, now coming to the four example 4 design a single phase part factor corrected uh, ACD DC non isolated cut converter in operating in discontinuous conduction mode and uh, operating at 50 kilohertz uh, specification and uh, where the supply voltage variation is 160 to 70 at, fi at 50 hertz single phase supply output voltage is varying 200 to 260 volt adjustable with the uh, nominal of 220 volt power output is 850 watt with the output voltage ripple of less than 2 percent. So, it is discount uh, well you can have a large number of solution here that you have three element all three can operate in discontinuous mode of course, this is the route bridge rectifier followed by LC filter and you can have all three de you, so you will get 2 to power 3 design out of 8 design will be for all 3 CCM which we considered in previous problem. Now, you can have even 7 design. So, you can take even all in discontinuous conduction mode and after design properly I mean like this converter uh, and putting the design value here we are able to get typically the waveform that supply voltage supply current which are in phase with the uh, you can call it like in phase as well as the current is quite close to sinusoidal as well as uh, there is no reactive power burden on the supply, but you can see clearly here the Im input inductor current is also discontinuous, output inductor current is also discontinuous, and there is the output voltage lag. So, coming to numerical part of it, the output voltage of a converter is uh, because it is a bug bush converter, this is the relation between uh, input average voltage after direct rectifier and the output DC. And designing this inductor in discontinuous mode, 
uh, the only difference this is for on period. So, applied voltage V in D and the ripple current is made 0 to 2 in means it is going to be from 0 to 2 of input peak current. So, then you can call it like typically ripple is very high. I mean this is for boundary condition after calculating we have to select the lower lower than that like. So, once we put the value here corresponding to this your inductor so it comes 161 micro Henry and we have to select certainly corresponding to n minimum supply voltage. So, we have to calculate because supply voltage is here varying. So, we have to calculate for here this is corresponding to the maximum voltage of 260 volt and this is for minimum of 200 volt. So, it comes 141.3 micro Henry. So, in the above expression a higher switching frequency is considered of 20 kilohertz where the R in give an input resistance as per the desired power and the you can call it the minimum voltage is 160 volt. Therefore, the critical value is selected for lower value than I uh, this is of 200 mic tip volt and the inductor is selected certainly much lesser than any one of the two value. So, it is selected typically you can call it 100 and uh, micro Henry for to ensure the DCM discontinuous mode of operation over a wide uh, voltage range as well as wide varying load range. Now, coming to output inductor that also supposed to be designed for typically for uh, discontinuous mode. So, that is ca al calculated for maximum output voltage. So, this is the typical relation. So, if we calculate corresponding to output maximum voltage it comes 185 micro Henry and we calculate the minimum voltage which is normally required in application to control the voltage it comes 124.9 micro Henry. Now, we have to make sure that it, it operates in discontinuous conduction mode in all these operating conditions. So, we have to make sure that it is less than even this value. So, therefore, value of the inductor is selected lower than the lowest of the two and the inductor is selected as 80 micro Henry to ensure in this discontinuous mode of operation of this output inductor. Now, coming to the typically the critical value of the intermediate capacitor here also we are permitting now ripple twice of the uh, average voltage of the across the capacitor for bonding condition. So, keeping the value here it comes 25.12 nanofarad and to make uh, this is corresponding to one voltage of typically of uh, the supply voltage and this is for another supply voltage of two, 260 this is for 200 and it comes like a 20.63 micro Henry. So, we, we select out of even lowest out, out of these two. So, we select in place of even lower than that. Uh, around 15 nanofarad to make a DCM operation of under over wide operating range. And now coming to the considering the condition of maximum uh, ripple voltage for minimum output voltage of DC link that is corresponding to with this relation corresponding to lower voltage of uh, typically of corresponding to both. So, it comes 1 uh, millifarad and if you select for minimum voltage of 200 output volt from this relation it comes 1.7 millifarad and certainly we have to make sure that the ripple is not exceeding more than 2 percent under worst condition. So, we select the value even little higher than the highest out of 2. So, we select around the value of DC link capacitor around 2 millifarad. Now, coming to the design of EMI filter the road bridge rectifier fed low pass filter tune for 1 tenth of the switching frequency to suppress the higher order harmony. So, therefore, design of LC filter can be get here. So, typically the your capacitor maximum value is calculated from uh, your I m upon V m into omega L into 10 theta where theta is taken only not to have a much reactive power burden only 1 degree here and the value comes 1976.26 nanofarad. This is the highest value normally we will select the lower than that. So, where V m I m are the uh, peak volt peak supply voltage and current and the filter capacitor is selected lesser than this means 470 nanofarad is the standard value and for filter design the source inductance is estimated from here and the total filter inductor is the source inductor plus required inductance. So, from relation we can find out typically the required inductance for EMI filter so it comes 4.44 milli Henry and the cutoff frequency is taken as a one tenth of the switching frequency like. So, coming to typically as a fifth example design a single phase power factor corrected AC DC non isolated single ended primary inductance converter operating in discontinuous conduction mode at 50 kilohertz and following the specification of supply voltage of 220 volt RMS with 50 hertz single phase supply and output voltage is 220 volt and your rated power is 850 watt 
with the output voltage ripple of less than 2 percent. So, this is a typical circuit. So, after diode rectifier, we have AMI filter, then we have a SAPIC converter with the output capacitor. So, these are the two inductor, I mean, like and the capacitor, like I mean, and here we design this input inductor typically in discontinuous mode. So, you can just see here after designing this converter and uh, making a model and simulating the waveform, these are the typical waveform that supply voltage, and this is typically the supply current which is in phase with the supply voltage and almost quite clean. Uh, so, you do not have a much reactive, no reactive power button and you do not have much higher or harmonic and this is the input inductor current which is designed in discontinuous mode, this is the output voltage and of course, the of this current harmonic spectrum you can clearly see of this waveform of supply current it comes 3.96 which is much lesser than 5 percent like or so. Now, coming to numerical part of the design of this, this is the relation again this SAPIC converter is also a bug boost converter. So, that is the average output voltage of diode rectifier and this is the output voltage of the converter across the output capacitor. So, putting the value here, average input voltage from the diode rectifier is the in terms of RMS voltage, it comes 198 volt and putting the value for corresponding to output voltage of 220 volt with the this average volt 1, so duty cycle comes 0 0.526. It means to ensure that it is operating in boost mode because this duty cycle is above 0.5. And then we can find out the input average current from power and input uh, average voltage. So, it comes 4.3 ampere and from the 4 DCM we can find out the this inductance equivalent induction for this converter it comes 0 0.127 milli Henry. And then we can find out the from this the this input inductor for discontinuous conduction mode it comes 0 0.242 milli Henry and we select because it is a DCM. So, we want have to select lower than this value to make sure that under all operating condition this current remain discontinuous on the in this inductor. So, we select lower than that that is 0 0.15 milli Henry and then from the equivalent inductance which we have calculated earlier and putting the value in this the input inductor we can find out the output inductor. So, output inductor comes 0 0.83 milli Henry and now we select to make sure that this also operate all the time in discontinuous current mode. So, we select lower than this value it should be lower than this value to make sure in ok, you selected higher than this to make in continuous conduction mode. Of course, I mean you can select only one component to make a continuous discontinuous mode of operation and considering the 20 percent voltage ripple at the in across the intermediate capacitor. So, we get the value of this C 1 which get 0 0.3 micro and we select little higher corresponding to make sure that this ripple is less than 20 percent in all operating conditions. So, it comes 0 0.44 micro Farad. Now, coming to the output capacitor, considering the condition for maximum ripple in the design of DC link capacitor, I mean this is C D I D is equal to I D C load current divided by twice of supply frequency and voltage ripple which is 2 percent of output voltage. So, it comes 1.4 milli farad and the maximum voltage ripple across C D C is considered 2 percent uh, of the V D C. So, value of DC link capacitor is selected higher than this to make sure that the ripple is not going in any case more than 2 percent. So, it is selected 1.8 my millifarad. So, coming to the design of this LC input EMI filter from the value of this capacitor relation in terms of IM, VM which are the supply voltage peak and uh, current peak and theta is the angle between supply voltage and current and omega L is the typically the frequency of supply. So, we get this 976.3 nanofarad and we select certainly lower than that. So, here it is selected 150 nanofarad. So, remaining we get compensation from of course, the inductor. So, it is a supply inductance and the total inductance required is the supply inductance plus the additional required inductor which we calculate here and from this we get this required inductance of order of 3.13 milli Henry and to make sure I mean that it is always uh, eliminate all the low higher order harmonic. So, we select a little higher than that it is a 3.3 milli Henry and the cutoff frequency FC is taken one tenth of the switching frequency. Now, coming to the sixth example design a single phase perfect corrected AC DC non isolated canonical switching converter uh, operating in discontinuous current mode also known as voltage with the voltage follower uh, control approach operating at 20 kilohertz with the following specification with the supply voltage of 220 volt 50 hertz and single phase AC supply and output is 220 volt power is 950 watt with the output voltage of 2 percent. So, this is typically you can call it after direct by EMI filter and this is your canonical switching converter for this inductor design in DCM or so. After designing the value, 
I mean model is made and from the model the waveform are simulated. So, this supply voltage supply current which is, is supply current is in phase with the voltage and supply current is quite clean and TAD is also ten much lesser than 5 percent and this inductor is designed in, in DCM. So, that is the only component here which have to operate in DCM for discontinuous mode of operation and this is the output voltage which is well regulated voltage of course, with the ripple which is of 2 percent in that. Now, coming to numerical part of the this problem the output voltage of the canonical switching converter is calculated from this bug boost relation because this is also another category of bug boost converter and this is the average voltage of after diode rectifier that is corresponding to DC and this is the your DC voltage across the capacitor. So, I mean putting the value RMS voltage of the supply voltage we can have average input voltage at the output of diode rectifier that comes 198 volt and therefore, the we can find out nominal duty ratio from this relation. So, putting the value we get 0.526 it means the converter is operating in boost mode because this duty cycle is above 0.5 and the input average current is from rate power divided by average input voltage and putting the value we get it 4.8 ampere and we can calculate the this inductor in for critical conduction mode because that is the specify value we can find out. So, this where the ripple is in this is twice the current flowing through this and this comes 0.54 milli henry and we have to make sure that we select the much lower than this. So, that in under all operating condition even much lower than supply voltage lower than this nominal voltage it still remain in discontinuous mode. So, inductor is selected typically order of even around one fourth order of that is a 0 0.15 micro to micro he, milli henry to make sure that it operates always in discontinuous conduction mode like. So, now coming to a intermediate capacitor giant for permitted ripple of 10 percent across it and the voltage across it comes like V in and V out that is typically the voltage across this. So, from this relation we can find out for a given ripple voltage we get this at around 2.72 microfarad and we select a little higher than that. So, that ripple is lesser than 10 percent of across it like. So, now coming to the considering the maximum ripple at the minimum voltage the design of diesel capacitor is calculated of output here which depends on load current out voltage ripple across it and twice the supply frequency because second harmonics is there across that for which we are designing here. So, putting the value we get 1.56 milli farad and the maximum ripple voltage across CDC is considered 2 percent. The value select is selected a little higher than that. So, that is selected 1.8 milli farad. Now, coming to the EMI filter design. So, diode B rectifier output is fed to low pass filter to net one tenth of the switching frequency to suppress higher order harmonics. So, therefore, design of this LC filter can be calculated from the C max equal to I m that is the peak of input supply current this is the peak of V m input supply voltage and the supply frequency and the angle is taken only 1 degree not to have a any reactive power burden on the supply side. So, after putting the value we get this 1.1 microfarad and we normally select this value much lower than to make sure this angle is further lower. So, typically the value of this filter capacitor is selected 650 nanofarad. Now, while designing the inductor for this LC filter, the source inductor is taken into consideration. So, higher order harmonics introduced by high switching frequency of the switching device is eliminated by using LC filter. Therefore, an accurate filter design is essential for perfect correction converter. Uh, uh, and filter inductor design is calculated from typically from this relation where this LS is the source inductance calculated from this relation. So, from this this is the required inductor. So, that comes 4.88 uh, milli Henry and we are not very sure how much the source inductance. So, to make sure that we select normally little higher than that where the your typically here your F C the your switching uh, one tenth of the switching frequency we select here in this relation. Now, coming to the an example 7, the design a single phase perfect corrected AC DC non isolated Leo converter operating in discontinuous conduction mode. I mean, like uh, and operating at 20 kilohertz with the following specification of supply voltage of 220 volt 50 hertz single phase AC supply and DC output voltage of 300 volt and power is rated is 250 watt and with the output voltage ripple 2 percent. So, this is typically the circuit of Leo converter. So, we have a after diode rectifier we have a EMI filter followed by this Leo converter and then we have a typically here output capacitor like. And this is the typical value calculated here that V d c equal to V in into T upon. So, this is also bug boost converter. 
So, putting the value RMH value, we can get average input at the diode rectifier output. It comes like a 198 uh, volt and putting the value in the relation of this, we get I mean output voltage 300 volt, input voltage 198, we get the duty cycle equal to 0 0.602 and since it is above 0 0.5, so we are sure that it is operating in boost mode and from this we can find out the average input current from power and input uh, average voltage. So, it comes 250 divided by 198, so it comes 1.262 ampere. Now, coming to the design of the inductor for discontinuous mode, so we calculate for con critical conduction from this relation where we allow the ripple of twice of the uh, typically you can call it inductor current, average current. So, it comes 2.36 and to make sure that it remains operates under all operating condition into DCM, so we select one tenth of this, so it is selected typically of 0 0.25 uh, milli Henry to ensure DCM for over a wide uh, operating range. An intermediate capacitor is joined for permitted ripple of 50 percent of the this capacitor voltage and the capacitor voltage is certainly comes V in uh, into V out. I mean it comes like for given specification of 498 volt and this capacitor putting the value in this case, it comes like 83.61 nanofarad and we select 100 nanofarad to make sure that ripple is much lesser than typically of 50 percent like. So, now coming to the considering the condition for maximum ripple at the minimum output voltage, the design of a digital capacitor is made for C D equal to I D C upon 2 omega into delta V D C. So, putting the value we get this as a 221 point. 1.6 microfarad and the maximum ripple voltage across CDC is considered 2 percent. So, we select the value of this DC link capacitor little higher than this value, so it comes 250 microfarad. Now, coming to typically the output inductor considering the 20 percent ripple, the expression for output inductor is calculated from this relation. Putting the value we get 4.7 milli Henry to make sure that it operates always with the continuous conduction less than 20 percent capacity we select this inductor little higher than this value. So, we select 5 uh, milli Henry. Mm. Now, coming to the EMI filter design, so diode rectifier output is uh, fed to the low pass tune filter at one ten, tuned at one tenth of switching frequency and the therefore, filter design can be there the capacitor value corresponding to the peak of supply current, peak of supply voltage and then supply frequency and angle a small angle between supply voltage and supply current order of 1 degree to make calculation. So, it comes 287.13 nanofarad and we select this uh, capacitor value little lower than this. So, we select 220 nanofarad is selected here. Now, coming to the inductor design of this EMI filter. So, while designing the inductor for LC filter, the source inductor is taken into consideration. So, higher order harmonics introduced in the input side by high switching frequency of uh, I, uh, the solid edge switch eliminated by LC filter. Therefore, accurate filter design is essential for this power factor correction converter and the filter inductor design is typically for source inductance with the relation. So, this is the required one, this is the total one. So, we after putting the value, we get the required inductor after putting the all the values, we get 10 milli Henry and we select therefore, this 10 milli Henry and cutoff frequency had taken one tenth of the switching frequency. Now, coming to eighth example, uh, the design is single phase power factor corrected AC DC non isolated Shepherd Taylor converter. This is also Bug Bush converter and input output inductor operating in DCM discontinuous mode and at 20 kilohertz with the following specification of input supply voltage of 220 volt 50 hertz and single phase AC supply DC output voltage 300 volt and power is of 1900 watt with the output ripple of less than 5 percent. So, this is the circuit after directly fire your say typically of uh, your what we call it the Schaeffer Taylor uh, converter. So, after designing in typically in DCM we and making the model with these value putting the value that we get the simulation similar waveform supply voltage and this is the supply current you can see in phase with the supply voltage and almost close to sinusoidal and this the this inductor current input inductor current which is discontinuous and this is the output voltage and after harmonic spectrum you can see this input current supply current which have a TAD only of 3 point. 5 9 percent like and coming to numerical part of solution of this uh, problem. So, output voltage of self Taylor is calculated from this bug boost relation and of course, the average input is after direct rectifier is calculated from RMS voltage. So, it comes 198 volt and putting the value in this relation input output voltage and input voltage we get the duty cycle 0 0.6202 and 
we this makes us to uh, I mean conclude that uh, it is operating in boost mode because this is above 0 0.5 and we can calculate average input current from power divided by average input voltage and uh, it comes 9.6 ampere. So, coming to the design of the input inductor for discontinuous current mode this L just for critical value for corresponding to twice of the ripple. So, it comes 0 0.31 micro Henry and the input inductor is selected typically much lesser than to make sure that it operates under all uh, operating condition discontinuous mode. So, it is taken is 0.1 uh, milli Henry for operating in discontinuous mode like. So, coming to intermediate calc uh, design of intermediate capacitor to permit the voltage ripple around 45 percent. So, voltage across it comes V in upon V outward. This is the average input voltage, this is output voltage. So, it comes 498 volt and this capacitor is calculated from this relation for a given ripple of uh, 45 percent. Here the value is put and we get this as a 0 0.85 uh, microfarad. We select the value little higher to make sure that voltage ripple is always less than that. So, it comes the capacitor is selected one uh, microfarad. So, coming to design of output inductor in DCM. I mean this is the again for the boundary condition that the ripple is twice of the output current or current of the flowing through the inductor because this current in the inductor is same as the output inductor because through this energy it is transferred and putting the value in all this relation. So, we get the value of 0 0.472 milli Henry and to make sure that this operate is in discontinuous mode we select one third value of this. So, it comes 0 0.16 milli Henry operating in DCM and coming to typically uh, for selection of output capacitor for a given voltage ripple of typically of 5 percent. So, considering the uh, maximum ripple at the minimum output voltage the design of capacitor is made C output equal to IDC upon 2 ohm delta V 0. So, we put here it comes like a 0 0.67 milli farad and the maximum ripple voltage across considered as a 5 percent and value of DC capacitor is considered as a 1 milli farad. And that now coming to design of EMI filter to so, diode bridge rectifier is fed uh, to a low pass filter which is tuned to one tenth of the switching frequency and the inductor design I mean capacitor for this LC filter is calculated from this relation I m upon V m into omega L into 10 theta taking a theta around 1 degree and putting the value of input output voltage and typically uh, value. So, we get 2.18 uh, microfarad we select much lower than that because this is the maximum value. So, we select typically this capacitor is of 780 nanofarad. Now, coming to design of filter inductor of this MI filter, this is the source inductance relation and the required inductor is source inductance plus required. So, this is the relation. So, we get from this required inductor putting the value here 5.66 milli Henry, this is the minimum inductance. So, to make sure we do not know the supply inductance, so we take little higher than this. So, we select here your around typically 6 milli Henry. Now, coming to the typically the numerical uh, example with the ninth numerical example design a 300 watt power factor bridgeless data converter operating in continuous conduction mode to maintain the DC link voltage of 300 volt with a percentage ripple of 1 percent and permitted ripple in the input and output side inductor and intermediate capacitor is 20 percent. The power factor correction converter is operated at 220 volt 50 hertz input and while switching frequency is 40 kilohertz and calculate the value of a input and output inductor, intermediate capacitor and DC link capacitor. So, these are typically of bridgeless zeta converter uh, circuit. So, we have of course, these two inductor identical capacitors are also identical, inductors are identical because they are operating in positive negative half cycle, but our bridge is eliminated. And coming to the with this circuit for the numerical relation, this is the average voltage, I mean typically in terms of the RMS supply voltage 198 for given 220 volt. And from the input output relation, we get the duty cycle for output voltage of 300 volt and input to average voltage of 198, it comes 0 0.6024. It makes your for bug boost converter, this converter operating in boost mode because this duty cycle is above 0 0.5. Now, coming to the typically the value of the average input inductor input current, I mean from power divided by the input power total power divided by the input voltage average voltage, it comes 1.15 ampere. And now we can calculate the input inductor operating in CCM and both inductor of input we take in typically in identical because both are operating in positive and negative half cycle. So, considering 20 percent current ripple of these inductor 
and putting the value for 20 percent current ripple for on period. I mean, this is the voltage applied and D is corresponding to your duty cycle and F is the switching frequency, we get this value 9.8841 milli Henry. Therefore, these two inductor input inductors are selected as 10 milli Henry to make sure that this converter is always operating in inductors are operating always in continuous conduction mode. Now, coming to output inductor in operating in continuous conduction mode, again we selected 20 percent current appeal and the minimum output inductance calculated from this relation of output voltage for a given current ripple and it comes putting the value here of your output voltage and switching frequency and ripple current of 20 percent and duty cycle we get this as a 14.9 milli Henry and we select little higher than that. So, we select this as a 15 milli Henry. Now, coming to design of intermediate capacitor, so we consider 20 percent ripple across them and this is the relation for this intermediate capacitor and putting the value corresponding to the equivalent to a load resistance. Uh, and then the output voltage duty cycle and switching frequency and ripple voltage across the this capacitor. So, it comes 151.2 nano farad and we select to make them continuous voltage across C 1, C 2, we select this is higher than this. So, we select 250 nano farad to ensure continuous conduction of voltage across these capacitors. Now, coming to the output capacitor, deceiling capacitor design from C D equal to I D upon 2 omega delta V D C and calculating the this output current and putting the value here, so it comes 530.78 microfarad. So, DC link select capacitor is selected higher than this as a standard value typically of 660 microfarad. Now, coming to the tenth numerical example, design a 500 watt power factor corrected bridgeless con con converter operating in discontinuous conduction mode for output inductor only to maintain the DC link voltage of 300 volt with the percentage ripple of 4 percent, the percentage ripple in the input inductor and intermediate capacitor is 20 percent, the power factor converter is operating at 2 with the input voltage of 220 volt 50 hertz and switching frequency of 40 kilohertz, calculate the value of input output inductor, intermediate capacitor and the output DC link capacitor virtually. So, this is the circuit for uh, bridgeless cuck converter, where uh, 1 for 1 half cycle upper cuck converter operate for negative half cycle, the lower cuck converter operate and these typically the component of input inductor, the tra energy transfer capacitor and output inductor they are identical I mean like to make sure that positive and negative half cycle of the operation is identical. So, now coming to typically the numerical part of this average input voltage appearing across the input of the converter or you can call it out, out at the output of diode rectifier will be V n equal to that is calculated from R n supply voltage average voltage. So, it comes 198 after putting the value into it and now from the duty ratio is calculated from a given output voltage for a given input voltage and this comes again 0 0.6024. It makes sure that this is operating in boost mode because if duty cycle is above 0.5 it, it means it is operating in boost mode. Now, coming to uh, calculation of component, so we calculate the input average current from the power divided by input average voltage. So, it comes to putting the value of this of power and your input average voltage it comes 2.525 ampere and the input inductor we say that they are operating with the 20 percent in continuous conduction mode with the 20 percent ripple and the value of the capacitor both are both from, imp from input applied voltage for on period and switching frequency and putting the value of all these uh, variables. So, it comes 5.904 milli Henry to make sure that it operates all the continuous conduction mode, we select a little higher than that value. So, therefore, the L 1, L, L i 1 and L i 2 are selected as 6 milli Henry to ensure continuous conduction mode of operation. And now, coming to output inductor operating in discontinuous mode, so relation is 4 corresponding to output 1 and here we say for boundary condition the ripple is twice of the current flowing through this that is the current through this output inductor is the same as the load current. So, the average of this I mean will be double of P will be double of this for just boundary condition and we calculate this it comes 894.6 micro Henry after putting the value of all these variables and however, we have to select this value lower than that to make sure that your this inductors are operating all the time discontinuous mode because that decide the type of control we are using like as a voltage follower approach so hence LO this both the inductors are selected as two third of this value that is 596 point. 4 micro Henry. Now, coming to the designing of intermediate capacitors for both the 
let us say cup converter of positive half cycle negative half cycle, so we are considering 20 percent voltage rebel and the C 1 C 2 are calculated from this relation for a given voltage ripple across it. So, the voltage across this capacitor is also sum of input output voltage of which the ripple is there. So, putting all the value we get 252 nanofarad. To make sure the, the capacitor have all the time continuous voltage across them, so we select a little higher than that value and we select this as a 350 nanofarad to ensure continuous conduction mode of the voltage across these capacitors like. Now, coming to the design of desealing capacitor, the relation with C D equal to I D upon 2 omega delta I D that is the load current that is the load voltage ripple and 2 omega because it does not depend on switching frequency depends on supply frequency because of second harmonics here and after putting all these value here we get this as a typically 221.16 microfarad to make sure this ripple is always less than the 4 percent ripple which is specified here we select this capacitor higher than this value and the desealing capacitor is selected as 440 microfarad. Now, coming to the 11th example design a uh, 300 watt bridgeless single ended primary inductance perfect converter operating in discontinuous uh, mode only output inductor to maintain desealing voltage of 300 volt with the percentage ripple of 4 percent. The permitted ripple in the input side inductor and intermediate capacitor is given 20 percent and perfect correction converter is to be operated with the input of 220 volt 50 hertz and switching frequency is 40 kilohertz. Calculate the value of input and output inductors, intermediate capacitor and desealing capacitor. So, this is the power factor bridgeless single ended primary conductance converter and here also both the inductors of input are identical capacitors of energy transfer is also identical and the output inductors are identical that is different these inductors are designed for DCM so that you can apply inherent power factor correction only with the voltage follower approach by controlling the output voltage. Now, coming with this as a numerical solution. So, average input voltage appearing across the uh, input of the converter comes V in 2 root 2 on, upon V s upon pi that is the RMS supply voltage. So, it comes 198 after putting value of V s of 220 volt and now the duty cycle for a given input output voltage. So, we have output voltage 198 and input is 300 volt. So, we get the duty cycle it comes 0 0.624 and we are sure that it is operating in boost mode because the duty cycle is above 0.5 which said which certainly concludes that the converter is operating in boost mode. Now, coming to the now calculation of input current, average input current that is from power divided by input average voltage. So, 300 upon 198 and it comes 1.515 ampere and the input inductors are operating continuous conduction mode. So, for the 20 percent current triple in the input inductor, we can calculate the input inductor from this relation corresponding to uh, on period. I mean like for this deriving this relation. So, it comes 9.841 milli henry to, to therefore, the L 1 L D 2 inductors are selected as 10 milli henry to ensure the continuous conduction mode of these inductors over a wide operating range either of input voltage or the load. Now, coming to the output operate output calculating the output inductor for discontinuous mode, we calculate this calculation of this from output relation for boundary condition and boundary condition because inductor current this inductor currents are the same as the output inductor output load current because both the average is same. So, we put twice of this because we start from going to be twice of 0 to twice of value for boundary condition and putting the value for this it comes after putting all these value we get 1.49 milli Henry and to make sure this is always operating discontinuous we select this LO uh, to two third value of this. So, we select around typically 995 micro Henry to ensure that it is operating always in discontinuous mode that corresponding to minimum input voltage which will cause the maximum current in this inductor. Now, coming to design of intermediate capacitor to consume 20 percent voltage ripple in the intermediate capacitor the design of this comes C 1 C 2 and the voltage across this capacitor is sum of input output voltage. So, putting all the value here it comes 151.2 nanofarad. So, to make sure that ripple is always less than so, we select this therefore, C 1 C 2 are selected as 250 nanofarad higher than this value to ensure continuous conduction mode. And then the desealing capacitor design for output capacitor C D equal to I D upon 2 omega delta V D and putting the all this value I mean typically for power and output voltage and with voltage ripple of 4 percent of output voltage and corresponding to second harmonics in the output voltage. So, it comes 132.7 microfarad 
and the, this dieseling capacitor is selected little higher than this to make sure the voltage ripple is never go more than 4 percent. So, it is a 220 microfarad is selected for this dieseling capacitor. Now, coming to the 12th example, the design of 200 watt perfect corrected bridgeless flyback converter operating in discontinuous mode to maintain the dieseling voltage of 50 volt with the percentage ripple of 4 percent in dieseling capacitor. The perfector converter is operating uh, with the input supply of 220 volt 50 hertz with the switching frequency of 45 kilohertz as a turns ratio of 2 to 1 and calculate the typically uh, calculate the transformer inductance and dieseling capacitor uh, for this converter. So, this is bridgeless flyback converter. You can see the diode bridge is completely eliminated. So, we have to calculate even the typical values of output capacitor as well as the magnetizing inductance for operating that uh, this converter in discontinuous mode. So, virtually magnetizing inductance this is designed for discontinuous mode. So, coming to the solution part of the input voltage appearing across the converter is input is equal to 2 root 2 into V s upon pi and putting the value here it comes 198 and from this relation because n 2 upon n 1 is given. So, we can calculate the value of duty cycle it comes 0 0.3355. Well, now coming to the design of uh, magnetizing inductance in DCM. So, we calculate this as a corresponding to boundary condition because here we are permitting corresponding to typically the ripple of twice of the current through it. So, putting the all value it comes 45.66 micro Henry and to make sure that it is always operating in discontinuous mode. So, we select the value of inductor in DCM as a 30 micro Henry which lower than this or so. And now coming to design of output in the capacitor uh, that is I d upon load current divided by second harmonics of supply frequency 2 omega into delta V d c that is the output voltage ripple and putting the value of all them with the 40 percent ripple it comes 3.1847 millifarad and we select this higher value to make sure that ripple never goes more than per, per 4 percent. So, dieseling capacitor is selected 3.3 millifarad. Now, coming to 13th example. The design a 300 watt perfect corrected bridgeless isolated cup converter operating in discontinuous mode to maintain the dieseling voltage of 100 volt with the percentage ripple of 4 percent. The permitted ripple in the input inductor and intermediate capacitor is 20 percent. Perfector corrected uh, the perfect converter corrected converter is operating at with the supply of 220 volt 50 hertz with the input. Uh, and the switching frequency taken as 45 kilohertz. The tensor ratio is given 2 to 1. Calculate the value of input and output inductor, intermediate capacitor, and dieseling capacitor. So this is typically a bridgeless cup converter. I mean, you can clearly see here we have a uh, even in a bridgeless. So here the induct input inductor, output inductor is shared together. But of course, all components are shared with the capacitor, cap energy transfer capacitor, and then the trans transformer. So you can have for DCM, we can have. Uh, 2 to power 3 design with one continuous and remaining discontinuous. So, we can design even only one element as a discontinuous in this converter and that can also give the same performance as inherent power factor correction with voltage follower approach. Now, coming to the numerical part of the design. So, we say that we in average input voltage here applied to the converter is 2 root 2 upon V s upon pi where V s is the RMS volt supply voltage. So, it comes are putting the value of V s it comes 198 volt. And now the duty ratio is calculated from this relation. This is a relation for bug bush converter, but along with that we have a turns ratio. So, putting the all the value we get here duty cycle 0 0.5025. So, it is just operating very close to the 0.5 duty cycle and transformer is responsible to transfer this. You can call it the input voltage to output voltage with the isolation. And the average input current from power and input average voltage we can calculate it comes 1.5. Uh, 1.515 ampere and design input inductor in DCM for a 20 percent current ripple. So, we can find out input inductor which is shared for on during for on period with the given ripple of 20 percent and it comes 7.297 millifarad and we normally select a little higher than that to make sure that ripple is never going more than 20 percent. So, we, therefore, the L1 is selected at 7.5 milli Henry to ensure DCM over a wide operating range. And the coming to design output inductor design in DCM. So, that converter operate in DCM. So, we calculate this output inductor corresponding to uh, for on off period 
with the ripple of twice the output for critical value. This is the critical value for critical conduction. Now, that is the numerical value we can calculate, but after putting all these values, we get this 184.26 um, micro Henry. This is for DCM boundary condition, but we have to make sure for DCM it is selected lower than this value to ensure the converter is always operating in this condition. Hence, the L0 is selected less than LOC calculated value and it is selected as 150 micro Henry. And coming to design of intermediate capacitor again for continuous conduction mode, voltage across these capacitors, so it comes 20 percent of voltage ripple across both the capacitor. So, we can calculate C 1 from this relation so that is on input side of the transformer and putting corresponding to the turns ratio here it, it is calculated it comes 422.95 and the output capacitor which is calculated from output side and putting the all value it comes 1.675 microfarad. Hence, the C 1, C 2 are selected higher than these value to make sure that voltage ripple is always less than the space 5 given value in design as a 20 percent. So, we are selecting them as 500 nanofarad which is higher than a calculated value and 1.8 microfarad which is also calc more than uh, your calculated value to typically to make sure that these two capacitors are always having voltage across them a uh, continuous like. And coming to the your output capacitor design C D equal to I D upon 2 omega delta V D C. So, putting the value I D P upon V 0 and all this value we get 1.194 and to make sure that this output voltage ripple is less than 4 percent in all operating conditions, so we select the this value little higher than that. So, the ceiling capacitor is selected as 1.6 uh, millifarad. Now, coming to the 14th example, design a 50 watt, 500 watt perfectly corrected bridgeless isolated single ended primary inductance converter operating in discontinuous mode to maintain the ceiling voltage of 200 volt with the percentage ripple of 4 percent. The permitted ripple in the input side inductor and embedded capacitor is given 20 percent and power factor correction converter is operated with the supply of 220 volt 50 hertz and the switching frequency is uh, of 45 kilohertz and the turns ratio is selected typically 2 to 1. Calculate the value of input output inductor, intermediate capacitor and the receiving capacitor. Now, coming to the numerical part of it, the average input voltage is calculated from this relation of diode rectifier output relation. So, putting the value of supply RMS voltage in and it is coming as a 198 uh, volt and now from the relation from the output voltage from the turns ratio and then bug boost relation converter relation the duty cycle comes typically D equal to 0 0.67 and the converter in this case is operating in the boost mode because this duty cycle is above 0 0.5. Now, coming to the value of input average inductor current from the power and average voltage it comes like putting the value 2.53 ampere and the design of input inductor in DCM considering for the 20 percent current ripple in the input inductor. So, design is given here from the on period and putting the value of this it comes 5.83 milli Henry. Therefore, L1 is selected 6 milli Henry to ensure all the time continuous conduction mode and the design of high frequency transformer operating in discontinuous mode. So, it is a boundary condition we can calculate because that is a definite value for where the output inductor having the same current as the your load current. So, we take load current twice of load current of average load current as a ripple for boundary condition and keeping the all the values here we get this 586.67 micro Henry to ensure under all the operating condition we select this much lower than that typically less than one third. So, LM is selected less than typically LMC and you say 150 micro Henry. Now, designing the intermediate capacitor in CCM considering 20 percent voltage ripple across the capacitor. So, design of capacitor is calculated typically from this relation and here typically the voltage across the capacitor is like your input output addition and with the turns ratio. So, it comes 467.62 nanofarad to ensure the in CCM. So, we select this C 1 selected higher than this value that is selected as 15 nanofarad to ensure continuous conduction of voltage across this capacitor. And now, coming to design of this DC link capacitor of output, so C D equal to I D upon 2 omega delta V D and keeping the value all value it comes putting this, so it comes 497.61 microfarad and we select this higher than that, so DC link capacitor selected is 660 microfarad to ensure that voltage will never go more than 4 percent under wide operating conditions of the converter. With this we would like to summarize this, so is the summary the bug boost converters 
improve power quality converters demonstrate excellent performance characteristic over a wide range of supply voltage for improved power quality with the power factor correction as well as uh, no reactive power burden and the power factor power circuit diagrams and operational principle of several type of bug boost derive improved power quality converter like Kux, Epic, Zeta, Leo and canonical switching converter are presented and the bridgeless configuration of these improved power quality converter offers the low conduction losses as well as fee devices count based on this various bridgeless bug boost converter are also demonstrated. A number of practical examples of bug boost derived improved power quality converters are given with a view of proper design exposure while considering the improved power quality performance at the grid like arm. And these are the references which we have taken into in all this work and uh, uh, then thank you. Mm -hmm.